welcome to our science class. How are you today? Great! Before we begin, let us sing a science song. Let's go learners! Ready for the song in one or two or three. Then sit properly. Science is ready. Lessons are all you. All you have to do Listen to your teacher to learn something new Hey, science time, science time Oh, it's science time Bear ready, it's more fun, more activities Hey, science time, science time Oh, it's science time I like it, I love it, I love my teacher too Ready for the song one or two or three Then sit properly Science is ready Lessons are all due All you have to do Listen to your teacher to learn something new Hey, science time, science time Oh, it's science time They're ready, it's more fun, more activities Hey, science time Science time, oh it's science time I like it, I love it, I love my teacher too Great job learners! I want you to observe this What do you think are the reproductive parts of plants and their functions. Five, we will discuss about the parts of plants and their functions. Please say grade five, I can enumerate the parts of plants and their functions. Grade five, watch and listen very carefully as we will discuss explicitly the parts of the plants and their functions. Let's go learners! The parts of a flower. Some plants reproduce using their parts like their roots, stems, and leaves. However, there are some plants which reproduce by accessory part, the flower. Incomplete flower Incomplete flower has only one reproductive part, either male or female. Complete parts of a flower has a stamen, petal, carpal or pistil, receptacle, and sepal. Receptacle The receptacle is the enlarged upper end of a flower stalk which bears the flower or group of flowers. Sepals Sepals are modified leaves which enclose and protect the other parts of a flower when it is still a bud. When the flower blooms, the sepal supports the bottom of the flower. A group of sepals is called calyx. Petals Petals form the most obvious part of a flower. Most petals are brightly colored to attract insects for pollination. A group of petals is called corolla. Stamen Salmon is the male part of a flower. It consists of the filament and the anther. Filament. The filament holds the anther in a position tall enough to release the pollen. Anther. The anther consists of two lobes that contain pollen sacs. Pollen sacs have pollen grains that are released by the anther when they mature. Pistil The pistil is the female part of a flower. It consists of a stigma, style, and ovary. Style This style is a stalk that connects the stigma to the ovary. It is tall enough to trap pollen grains. Stigma The stigma is a swollen structure at the end of the style. It receives the pollen grains. The mature stigma secretes a fluid that stimulates the pollen grains to germinate. Ovule 
ovule is the organ that forms the seeds of flowering plants. It is born in the ovary of the flower. Ovary. Ovary is the enlarged basal portion of the pistil, the female organ of a flower. The ovary contains ovules which developed into seeds upon fertilization. The ovary itself will mature into fruit either dry or fleshy enclosing the seeds. Pollen tube. The pollen tube is a tube through which sperm from the pollen reaches the axle and fertilizes the plant to form seeds. It transports sperm cells from the pollen grain from the stigma to the ovules at the base of the pistil. Pedicel. The pedicels hold individual flowers in place, but how they do do that depends on the form of the inflorescence. The function of pedicels is to expose flowers to the sun and wind and put them in a position so their aroma and color attracts pollinating insects more easily. The parts of a flower The petal The sepal The receptacle The ovule The pedicel the pollen tube. The semen consists of anther and filament. The pistil consists of stigma, style, and ovary. The parts of the flower and their functions. Receptacle supports the base of the flower. Sepals Protect the flower when not yet blooming also supports the base of the flower. Petals Its bright colors attracts pollinators. Filament Holds the anther in a high position for release of pollen. I hope you understand now the parts of the plants and their functions. So grade 5, what are the parts of flowers and their functions? Great job learners! Why are flowers or any plants important to community? Very good! Plants provide us with food fiber, shelter, medicine, and fuel. If you have flowers or plants at home, how do you show your care to all plants? Very good! By watering and exposing them to sunlight every day. Great job, learners! It's a wrap-up time, learners! Let us test if you have understood very well our lesson. Get your paper and pen. Let's go! Grade 5 Plants reproduce with their parts. What are the complete parts of a flower? A. Stigma, style, ovary, pistil, calyx. B. Corolla, calyx, stamen, pistil, ovule. C. Under, filament, pollens. Ovule or sepal, letter D, stamen, petal, carpal, receptacle, and sepal. And the answer is letter D. Like animals, plants have reproductive parts. What makes up the pistil in the female reproductive structure? A. Style and ovary. B. Stigma and style. Letter C. Ovary and filament. Letter D, anther and filament. 
And the answer is letter A. Number three. If we say that flower is complete, what does it mean? A. It has male reproductive parts. B. It has female reproductive parts. C. It has both male reproductive and female reproductive parts. Letter D. It has the male reproductive parts but without female reproductive parts. And the answer is letter C. Number 4. The enlarged basal portion of the pistil produces ovules. Which part describes the female reproductive parts of the flower? A. Filament B. Ovary C. Stigma D. Style And the answer is letter B. Number 5. The teacher asked you to get a pot with a plant bearing a complete flower for your lesson. Which pot of flower will you get? A. Daisy B. Gomamella C. Rose D. Santa And the answer is B. Great job, learners! Congratulations! I am so proud of you. Oops! Before we end, learners, let me give you this task to do at home. Using a Venn diagram, write the common parts of a complete and incomplete flower. At the middle of the portion of the circles, write their common characteristics. Good luck, learners! You can do it! And that's all for now, learners. I hope that you have learned a lot from our lesson for today. This is once again Teacher Marlon, your teacher on the go. Till next time, see ya! Shout out to my Ka family! Please subscribe all my Ka family members' YouTube channels. Click their links below in the description of this video. I love you!